Hey everybody, I'm Bridget with a look at some stars making news today on CelebrityWeek.com. Okay, when you're famous and you're in another part of the world doing charity work, helping the less privileged and just generally creating good publicity, it's not cool to run over a local kid on his bike and keep driving. Okay, it wasn't quite that bad, but it wasn't good. Angelina Jolie was in India when paparazzi started chasing the car she was in. Her driver tried to escape them and ended up running into a teenager on a bike. The driver kept going without checking to see if he was hurt. Turns out the kid's fine, he just has some minor bruising. But he did report the accident to the police, along with the fact that the car driving didn't stop. Now Angelina's driver will most likely be arrested, and needless to say, this isn't the best publicity for Angelina in India. And she could have used some good publicity right now. She's already been getting criticism from Black Rights Group for choosing to play the role of Marianne Pearl, a mixed race woman, in the new movie A Mighty Heart. In the rap world, apparently there's two sides, those who wear flip-flops and those who don't. Rapper DMX is blaming Jay-Z's flip-flop wearing habit on Beyonce. DMX says he can no longer identify with Jay-Z, who used to be his good friend, because he's a flip-flop wearer now. I know this sounds like some kind of elaborate euphemism, but we're really just talking about sandals here. According to DMX, thugs don't do flip-flops. DMX says Jay-Z is a sucker for love and that Beyonce has changed him into a man who would wear flip-flops. He named a long list of islands he'd vacationed at and pointed out proudly that he never wore flip-flops at any of them. My guess is he has really ugly feet. Okay, so K-Fed's getting all bossy, or jealous, or something. Apparently, Britney had hired Matt Falker, who was in her Toxic video, to work with her in the first video for her comeback album. K-Fed put his foot down, saying she had to fire Falker and some other male backup dancers that she had lined up, and only use female backup dancers from here on out. The whole Britney and Kevin Federline story got started when Kevin was a backup dancer for her. I'm not sure Kevin's really thought this through. I mean, if she doesn't do what he says, then what? I have a feeling we'll be seeing male backup dancers anyway. Thanks for watching. I'm Bridget, and I'll see you here next time on CelebrityWeek.com.